Hello guys. Hey, I thought I'd do a little video on my helmet setup that I have an external battery powering my GoPro. Everybody knows how terrible the GoPro batteries are. They start off good out of the box and then you charge them a few times and then you're down to maybe 20 minute recording time or less. I can't tell you how many times I went out riding and did a bunch of cool stuff and seen a bunch of cool stuff and thought oh man that's gonna be a great video and I get home and figure out that my camera quit recording about uh, 20 minutes into the ride and all the cool stuff was um, not recorded so I really needed to find a solution for that so I started doing a lot of searching on YouTube and seeing quite a few people coming up with different ideas and uh, I took a lot of those ideas and put them into my helmet setup and you can look in the credits down below for a couple of the guys that I seen what they did and incorporated some of their solutions into my helmet I appreciate those videos and giving me these ideas the one objective I had in doing this is I did not want to uh, have cables hanging out where if I'm going through the woods and going through a lot of branches and such that a branch was going to grab one of my cables and either jerk my head off or tear my equipment apart so I tried to keep everything tight against the helmet and uh, to keep it from out of harm's way I thought about mounting the battery underneath my visor but then I thought, well, then I was going to have too much weight up front. That's where I landed on putting it in the back. And I thought it would kind of balance the helmet out, which it does. I don't even know it's back there. You plug into the battery with a USB connector. And then into the camera with a C connector. They make some cables that have right angles on that C connector but none of them were the right length. They were either too short or too long. So I ended up finding a two foot cord with just the C connector and then I bought a adapter, a right angle adapter for it. Here's a close up of the little clips that I used to hold the cable. They have adhesive on them, just little sticky pads and uh, you buy them in about a 60 pack they work really well for holding that. Here's a close up of the battery and how I attached it. On the back of the helmet there were some little vents back there. I just wire tied it to that. It's real solid. I did notice one little quirk that another YouTuber using the same battery experienced that um, as I was recording I probably only had about three tracks on it and uh, where I stopped the recording and restarted it but when I downloaded the footage I had probably about 15 so with this battery it does seem to every now and then it'll stop recording and then it'll wait a couple seconds and then it'll restart kind of a weird little thing but what he said uh, the way he cured that was he unplugged the battery hit the record button and then plugged it in and that cured it. It would just go ahead and record all the way through. I haven't tested that yet, but anyway, I really like the size of this battery and so that's why I went ahead and went with it anyway. I think it's going to be just fine. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it gives you some ideas on how to power your GoPro up and keep it running for the duration of your ride or whatever you're doing. And if you're interested, I've got another video out there of how I mounted my GoPro on my Goldwing handlebar on a tripod. I can pan all directions with it. Uh, no longer do I have a GoPro on my helmet when I'm touring. I can just have it on my handlebar. It's a lot safer way of taking videos of your ride. And that way you can have that GoPro pointing exactly where you want it. And you can keep your eyes on the road. I'll put a link to that video down in the description. Okay, enough time watching YouTube videos. Get out there and do some writing. And don't forget, when you're out there, be a good example.
This is Mr. Jawmaster signing off.